Okay, so triad chords are really simple to make on any note of the scale. All you do is pick the root note. So let's just start with our one chord. This is the one chord because it's starting with the first note in our scale, E flat. So let's just draw out that. So we've got that covering one bar. And then all we do for a triad is literally we just count up the notes in the scale. So we go one, miss one, and then we have a note on that note there. So let's just copy that up. Just holding Alt and dragging that up. And then again, we skip a note and go to the next note after that. And that's it, we got our first triad. And this goes for absolutely any note in the scale. So let's just do the next note up. So let's go for F. So we start with F, so we skip one, go for G sharp. And then we go from G sharp, we skip that, and then we go up to the next one. So then we've got a second chord. And that is literally how you make a triad. It is that simple. Now I'm going to copy across, so I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep making these so we've got notes all the way up the scale. Now this isn't actually the chord progression, but I just want to make notes so we've got every single chord that is possible in this scale uh, played out. Okay, so I've drawn a triad in for every single note of our scale. And we can kind of use this like, if you if you really want and you're starting out, you want to use this like a bit of a toolbox. So you know these are the notes or the, all the possible triads that you can use for your chord progression. So now we can kind of just sort of copy these out whenever you want just to sort of use them to make your chord progression. If that, that's one way of working with it anyway and just rearranging them sort of into a, a chord progression. So that is one way of doing things, but there are a couple of very helpful rules that will make this process sort of less random and help you get better results quicker and with less messing around. Now, one of them is labeling the chords, okay? So it's very, very simple. We got our chord down here. This is obviously on our tonic, so it's starting from the tonic, E flat. This is always called the one chord. The next note up is called, or the next chord starting with the second note up is called the two chord and the three chord four chord five chord you get the idea so if someone says to you it's a five chord you know that you've got to count one two three four five notes up so you know that the five chord the root note of that chord is a sharp okay so just knowing these labels or these names for them the the numbers will definitely help you sort of write a good chord progression which we're going to get to in the next lesson when we actually make the proper chord progression one last thing i'm going to do before i go out and let's just change the name of this just call that pad chord progression and then again hold shift and enter and then it changes the name of that and just so we don't start getting confused later down the line i'm just going to bring up my color track i want to actually change the color of the track itself so in order to do that i want to make sure that no midi or no uh, elements in the actual arrangement are selected so i just click off that to deselect them then i can click on this track just make sure it's the, definitely the one that got selected then i can click on a color and it will recolor that i can also color that the same if i want just by selecting on it but in order to change the color of these you have to make sure that nothing in the arrangement is actually selected in the next lesson, we'll be making the actual chord progression. If this video has been helpful to you, please do like, subscribe, and hit the alert button to stay up to date with the latest tutorials from Born to Produce. Thanks for watching.